Princess Kylie is now 18, and it's time to find a prince who deserves her. Her servant, Dylan, has personally selected the best applicants from all over Middle Earth. These pictures are scaring her. Wealthy Prince Stefan is half human, half troll on his mother's side. His wealth is legendary. Kylie's father wouldn't mind marrying him himself. Kylie has her own opinion. She insulted Prince Stefan. Kylie's parents are furious. Calling a high-ranking monarch names is unacceptable. And going against your parents' wishes is even more shocking. So the princess is getting kicked out. Her servant, Dylan, will have to follow her into the cold and cruel world. They didn't get very far. Kylie's shoes are uncomfortable, and her stuff is too heavy. Dylan suggested they set up a temporary camp here. Not that he's done it before, but he's ready to start building the foundation of a new kingdom, free from controlling parents. Kylie asks for her comfort to be considered. To be honest, she's beginning to doubt Dylan's skills. One time, he built a birdhouse, but the birds themselves decided to tear it down and build something nicer. But he has a lot of strength. The hardest part is over, and up next, he'll be painting. Dylan and Tom Sawyer have a lot in common. If an artist is talented, he could paint a masterpiece with his foot. What? Kylie's rushing him along. It's time to break out the magic bone. Wow, what a cool bed. Dylan's good, and I should never have doubted him. Oops. Kylie likes it. <laughs> wow. Except for the brick on the floor almost broke her pinky. Huh? It's an assassination attempt. Dylan has to deal with the attacker. The brick has no idea who he's messing with. The servant has been watching Kung Fu how-to videos. He probably should have not only watched it, but also tried it out. All the bones in his hand are shattered. Maybe he should start with styrofoam. I'm sure he can handle it. His hands move at the speed of light and crush the styrofoam into dust. He's finally a master. The brick inspired Kylie. Now she can do the exterior trim. It's gorgeous. And this is just the beginning. Kylie got involved in the construction process. Because of her stupid hard hat, she can't see anything. It keeps falling in her eyes like emo bangs. Maybe Dylan should stop lazing around and should help Kylie instead. Dylan is worried about his hands. They've been through enough. Kylie doesn't seem sure what she's doing. And then there's that hard hat. Oh, Her Majesty, the Queen is here to see her daughter. What she saw made her very nervous. The princess should wear a crown, not a hard hat. She's royalty after all. Here's a crown made out of plastic, but painted gold. It turned out very cool. The princess should look and act like a princess. And the nailing is up to Dylan. Thanks a lot for that one. Not that he's happy, and not that he's any better at it. The hammer just won't stay in his hands. He'll have to look for the runaway tool. Dylan has no idea where it went. Help him out. Tell him where to look in the comments. <laughs> the princess looks wonderful in her mini castle. The only thing missing is the roof. In case it rains and her hair is ruined. Mom is here to point out her daughter's mistakes. Maybe she can help. Dylan's brother Jack spends all day making coins with the image of the great king. It's hard work. The perfect printing press. All the coins are the same shape. Only the queen knows how to manipulate the king. A little gold wouldn't hurt. Wow. The queen even helped with the trim. The roof shines like Prince Ooh. Stefan's bald head. There's even a window so she can search for someone hotter than him. The secret room is stunning. The princess needs a soft bed, but this bed doesn't meet her standard of comfort. We'll have to do something about it. Maybe styrofoam will soften her harsh existence. The princess needs a throne and some materials for it. Hey, Scarecrow, can I borrow some cloth for Her Majesty? Oops, don't look at me like that. The materials are ready. It's time to use the king's magic. First is the worst, but second's the best. What an amazing throne. 
Now mm. she's comfortable enough, and she can turn on massage <laughs> mode. So nice. Oh, oh why did it stop? Ah. That's right, you have to put a coin in to make it start. Kylie mm. is working hard on setting up her kingdom in the backyard. Royal accessories only get in the way of construction. She gave her beads to Dylan and went back mm. to work. The princess would have made a good engineer. Hmm. She's smart. But Dylan can't relate. He ripped her beads. The poor guy tries to cover what? up the traces hmm. of the crime. He tried to fix everything what? without looking. Hmm. It doesn't look like a string of beads. Hey. Uh -huh. But it looks wow. like a beautiful chandelier. Wow. Yes. The main thing <laughs> is that the princess likes it. Looks like she's happy. Nice hmm. going, Dylan. A peasant came to visit the kingdom's backyard. He has a broken wheel on his cart. The roads are not maintained at all. That's what taxes are supposed to be for. The poor guy doesn't know what to do. Working for Uber Cart is his bread and butter. Literally, they pay him in sandwiches. Kylie decided to introduce him to the latest trends. Wooden wheels, they're the future. They'll definitely fit the Toyota Corolla. And that oh, Michelin wow. tire will come in handy itself. But mm. why? Oh. What's she up to? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to be a table, I bet. It looks like a wheel on a stool. Huh? Yeah. Break out the magic. Now that's better. The room looks brighter and more beautiful. Even if you're a king, your wife will still ask you to take out the trash. Until he does his chores, no invasions of neighboring kingdoms. But at least he doesn't have to do any homework. The king is getting mad. Her kingdom is literally their trash can. It's time to put something over the window. Otherwise, frisbees, pigeons, and garbage will keep coming in. Kylie prefers stained glass, so no one can peek in. That didn't last long. Garbage flew in from somewhere unexpected. Apparently, she forgot to cover the windows on the second floor. Dylan is bringing the princess a new fashion magazine. She wow. looks like she's into it, but she needs likes hmm. to buy it. Where could she get what? them? Hmm. The princess goes hunting. Yes. <laughs> a royal hmm. like would probably be worth a thousand normal likes. <laughs> Friends, give us a thumbs up under this video mm -hmm. so you can see Kylie in her new dress. Kylie is already slowly settling into her kingdom. She turned out to have a lot of stuff. Dylan begs her not to execute him. He'll fix it in a minute. He frantically puts an LED strip on a hanger. Crazy. Yeah, but it looks cool. Now all of Her Majesty's dresses are hung up. And the lighting's on point. Kylie digs it. Just when she was about to say she had the best servant in the world, Dylan suggested burlap curtains. Peasant curtains have no place in her castle. Dylan is upset. That burlap was from his mother's wedding dress. Kylie found something better. Now the curtains are perfect. Incredibly beautiful. And of course, a freshly cut rose for Her Majesty. The petals can make a gorgeous curtain. Dylan did a great job after all. Kylie was flipping through the family photo album. It was so cool back there. She loved it, and she didn't want to leave. Wow. Hmm. She wishes she could go back to that time and get Daddy's power and the crown. Her brain is trying to change her memories. She's still angry at her father. Family portraits aren't selfies. They aren't easy hmm. to take at all. You have to pose uh -huh. for hours, stuck in one nice pose. If it doesn't turn out well, they execute the artist and burn the painting. Sometimes a customer can ask for a little medieval Photoshop for more likes. And the customer is always right. That's how Kylie's fiance, <laughs> Stefan, ended uh -huh. up in the family portrait. Yep, that's what? the one. By the way, he's 14. That's just what he looks like. The princess is freaking out. She doesn't want to be with him. Not in reality, not in a painting. It's as if her dad can't even hear her. It's up to Dylan to calm the princess. No one can see her crying. Her tears used up all the paper towels. Dylan usually makes stuff out of the tubes. They always make Kylie happy and she stops crying. Dylan can even use ordinary candle wax to make a cool shelf for jewelry. Kylie's getting a little tired today. 
Kylie was having a nice dream about Prince Charming, but got interrupted by her stupid alarm clock. The princess accidentally broke it and decided to fix it with Daddy's method. I'm not sure that's the best way to fix something, but I'm not a princess either. And Kylie did even better than that. Maybe now she won't be mad at the alarm clock. Oh. After all, she can always take it out on Dylan. He probably deserves it. Serving a princess is not the nicest job. He's trying his best, but his coffee is disgusting. Dylan just filters it through his sock. There's no way to get that stain out now. We'll have to figure out what to cover it with. We should make a medieval poster. It's a slogan she came up with on her own. We could sell it to Coca-Cola. Mom decided to help her daughter with the fence. Working together <laughs> brings people closer. Mom's support is very important to Kylie now. Unfortunately, her dad's too stubborn to understand her. The love and care of your family is especially important at times like these. Dylan removed a lantern from the police station and brought it to lighten up Kylie's mini kingdom. He's such a good guy. But unfortunately, the lantern doesn't work, just like everything else in the police station. Electricity hasn't what? been invented yet. Oh, it just got invented. Thank you. It's a little too bright. So it's not the lantern. It's Stefan's bald head. The only one who likes him is Kylie's dad. How about you marry him then? Kylie doesn't like Stefan at all. She's about to have another breakdown. Dylan won't let his princess get hurt. The king said whoever gets the saw out of the log will be the prince. The king's order is law. Let's see what Stefan can do. The saw is sticking to the log, as if it wants to get away from Stefan. Dad's favorite didn't make it, and now he's embarrassed. The queen insists Dylan try. Dylan's surprised, but he can't say no. His hands are like a pit bull's jaw. They're locked. He pulled as hard as he could and no. yanked the saw out of the log. Could he be the prince worthy of Princess Kylie's heart? Actually, yes. Wow, what a transformation. He doesn't stink anymore. Dad is shocked, and Stefan is even more offended. He's crying. Remember, he's only 14. Dylan couldn't even dream of this. The king decided to pour him an evil transformation potion. Well, here's to true love. What bad timing for the queen to choke. She's allergic to poison. It makes her younger, but it gives her a tummy ache. Looks like it's time for the young queen to go on an adventure. Here we go. Yes. The young princess is looking at her new room. But the mattress doesn't seem to be orthopedic. What? A prince comes with this kingdom? He's cursed? And only true love's kiss can save him? Cat has to help. And she knows a spell. Wake up! The curse is off. And now you better get out of here. How about the servants' quarters? This all belongs to Cat. She has the documents to prove it. But the prince can't read, so he disagrees. He doesn't really want to argue with her, though. Cat is starting to decorate her place. But she's been hit by a clumsiness curse. These flying apples are perfect targets for the kingdom's best archer. Who knew a poisoned apple could actually save a life? Cat loves competitions. Jackson's going to have to participate in an archery battle because he never says no to a challenge. Cat's secret is that she pictures her ex instead of the target. Jackson's trying not to make it obvious that he's never done this before. He's usually the target himself. Ooh, beginner's luck. They'll never be able to pick a winner at this rate. Comment below and tell us who you think made the better shot. Delivery for Jackson. That's weird. He wasn't expecting anything. Ooh, it's a person. Did someone send Jackson a friend? Oh, he's a peasant. He smells gross. Cat has to approve everyone who moves into her palace. And she doesn't want this guy on her territory. So she kicks him out and steals his map. Meanie. 
Why isn't she more welcoming? She's a princess after all. Jackson has a lot to do today. He has to go through the mail and bills. Fire taxes and parking tickets. Typical. Cat's allergic to paperwork. She gets so frustrated. What is he reading? Oh, a response from the Troomder Dating Agency. Don't laugh at him. Princes deserve love too. Jackson wants to impress Cat by showing her his dragon. One time, Jackson fought it himself, and he beat it. Cat loves stories like that. Jackson's really glad to hear that. He could have talked and talked about his brave adventures, but then Cat asked about the price tag. These dragons are sold at every supermarket, and you can get a cool story about it for free. Jackson's going to have to learn to never sneak up on Cat while she's hunting. She doesn't just shoot daggers with her eyes. Fixing her arrow quiver is the least he can do. And it's kind of impressive. He was expecting a little more than just a thank you. But it's good enough for the first try. Cat starts dolling up first thing in the morning. A princess has to look amazing. Look at Jackson. It's working. He wants to see her from up close. He thought it wasn't a mirror, but a target with his face on it. It broke his heart. Jackson is being so dramatic. Cat doesn't know what's more annoying, his drama or his touching her arrows. Cat read a fairy tale about a wooden boy. Even a wooden boy would be better than Jackson, so she better get to work. He's catching up to the competition fast. Cat's only a beginner, so she couldn't really make a boy, but she made a planner. It turned out amazing. A wooden boy wouldn't have let her paint him. Now her planner is going to look perfect. Jackson thinks DIY stuff is for babies and servants. Princesses don't like being teased. Cat cut out her dream castle and painted it her wow. favorite color. And now we can hold her arrows. How do you like that? Jackson has a really bad fever. Cat thinks she can make him a health potion for sure. It's the same formula as poison, but backwards. That could be dangerous, so she's sticking to safety rules. And she wouldn't drink it herself, of course. Some people say her grandma was a witch, but she just liked to fly around on a broom and curse people. Hey, Jackson, medicine plane asking for clearance to land. Permission granted. He looks way better already. So good that it's scary. A real prince is always ready to do something amazing. Like beat up some bad guys to save his princess. Imaginary villains are down. And so are Jackson's pants. Pat, show us what you got. She could shoot a fly at a hundred paces. Wow, we weren't expecting that. Amazing! Jackson is really into daydreaming. He loves imagining rescuing princesses and getting huge rewards for it. But his allergy is showing up at his daydream. He's used to his mom dusting. Now he has Cat. She knows what to do with his fur. Make a tiny rug and wear it on her shoulders? What? Jackson is furious. Wait, what is that? Dust? Turns out he likes it after all. He just didn't know it at first. Cat is going hunting. She's going to make an amazing dinner. But where did Jackson's sock come from? He's 
so messy that it drives her crazy. His socks are everywhere. So she's going to take a big step. He'll have to use his new invention to keep from losing his socks again. She should patent that. But now he has nothing to put in the sock pocket. Well, nobody wore socks in the Middle Ages. He looks like a mermaid. Jackson likes playing with toy soldiers. He imagines that he's an amazing general. Cat will never understand him. Why don't you just grow up already? He's actually planning a hostile takeover of the whole kingdom. That's serious business. Jackson's eating his stress away and eating through the pain. He's running out of steam, but he has so much left to eat. He can't let them go to waste. So he'll make a new friend for himself. He'll eat him someday. But he can just watch the door for now. The prince is giving his guard everything he doesn't want. Cat has more food for him. And of course, Jackson has room for it. Eating good food is hard work. Did you know that Jackson went to a dance school? And he's challenging Cat to a dance battle. Let's see if she can move. Not bad. This is her iconic move. Nobody can resist it. Let's keep this trophy forever. Jackson is proud of his kingdom. And he wants his flag to go on display. But he's had a breath already. Cat keeps herself in shape. And that's how she saved her uncle's windmill. This air kiss is for you. Being able to stay on your feet is something every knight should focus on. Jackson hung his flag upside down. That's better. Jackson is getting hungry. What's better than a royal sandwich? Every knight should have a sharp sword. Only a worthy warrior can pull this one out. Jackson gives up. Cat is the better choice. He makes heart-shaped toast for her. So cute. But why does it say, for my son, on it? Oh, he gave Cat his most prized possession. We have unexpected guests. A king and his entourage. And he's mad. They must be bringing Jackson an award. Nope, they're here to evict Jackson and Cat. But where do they go now? An evil wizard kidnapped him and forced him to ride around for eternity. Nice job, wizard. You'd be a great coach. Looks like there's a plot twist coming. Usually the prince saves the princess. But come on, it's 2021. We do things differently now. Now we just have to figure out how far the fitness wizard took our prince. Then we can go rescue him. Mia's got the right idea. This will be hard if you're in heels. Sneakers are way better. Shouldn't we get horses? Winged horses even? Or dragons? No, that would be boring. Jackson needs to spice things up for the girls. What if the princesses end up at an archery tournament? Let's see how good their aim is. The prize is a million coins. They could use this as ransom. Archery isn't boring or easy. One wrong move and Princess Mia might lose her lunch. This archer isn't too friendly. He's laughing at the princesses. Oh, you want to play? You'll get to play. If Mia can shoot the apple with her eyes closed, then the princesses win. But Mia's not great at archery, so they have to do something sneaky. Archers are so gullible, right? 
He should totally fall for it. Since the brave princesses won the tournament, they've earned their prize. One million coins. Not bad. Whoa, that's so heavy. Coins are so old-fashioned. Since we're just imagining this, let's imagine a magical bank. There's gotta be a way to put gold coins on a credit card. It's way more convenient. And trees could be ATMs. If you can dream it, do it. Did you like our new story? What was your favorite part? Tell us in the comments. And give us ideas for more stuff to have Mia and Caroline do. And don't forget to like and subscribe 